taking the vitamins. Oh, can you take vitamins or should you stop taking vitamins? Okay, so vitamins depends on where they're coming from. So the, the, the body makes its own vitamins within itself. Not everything comes from our diet. So there are some things within our body that the diet can, I mean, there are some things within our body that the body regulates on its own, including nucleotides. Again, it creates its own nucleotides. Um, it regenerates nucleotides that are uh, being salvaged from um, dead or um, dysfunctioning cells, as well as it does take in and absorb nucleotides from our diet. It's the same thing that uh, happens with vitamins. Vitamins, I always opt for us to get them naturally because the thing with vitamins on the shelf is you don't know where they got their vitamins from. And a lot of these vi vitamins are being chemically and laboratory made. And those vitamins do not have the same effect on the body as, um, you know, as, as naturally occurring vitamins may. And it's the same thing with GMO, uh, GMO foods, foods that lack natural carbon. And that's the whole thing about an alkaline diet, foods that are high in the carbon that our body needs. Whenever we are um, uh, talking about vitamins that we get from, um, from, from shelves and stores and stuff like that, if you actually research, some of these brands don't even have a high percentage of the vitamins that they're actually proposing that they do. Meaning that the capsules that you're, you're consuming does not have what you think that, they, that you have, does not think what you think they have within them. And so if you want to make sure that you're getting your vitamins in, implement foods that actually have the vitamins that your body needs. The, uh, you know, make sure you eat your rainbow, in essence. And um, it, it becomes a bit hard because we've, we've gotten so comfortable. Um, we don't know um, how many calories we're consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't know how much vitamin A we got in today throughout our diet because we don't know enough to actually calculate it. But it requires for you to say, hey, if I eat a cup of beans today, how much and what is actually within these beans? What's actually within the fruit that I'm, I'm, I'm taking in? And, and so forth and so on to make sure that you are actually consuming what you need. So it's a bit more work, but it's definitely more worth it. And to me, it's a lot more safe. Because again, store, not all, and I'm not gonna attack all brands and say, you know, and be on the extreme and say, ain't nothing good in the store, but Typically, a lot of these brands are scams and, and people don't understand it, and, you know, even in comparison to how the body actually breaks down certain things. And that's really unfortunate because people, people be out here consuming stuff left and right, not understanding their condition, not understanding their disorder and what they're actually doing to themselves. A lot of women are anemic. Is there anybody anemic here? I was told. You were told that you were anemic? Yeah, some years ago, but I haven't been tested no, no, within the past four or five years. What kind of anemia did you have? I don't remember. It's been so long ago. I used to stay cold a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, there's, there's different kinds of anemia that, that we can tackle. But if you don't understand the kind of anemia that you have, you don't understand how to address it. And you can actually make yourself really, really sick by going out there and getting on these iron pills. Um, those that are just suffering from a lack of iron within their diet could benefit from adding extra iron into their diet. But those that are um, uh, that suffer with sickle cell, or those that are just suckle, uh, they suffer with like beta thalassemia. You know, we're having blood disorders. The problem with that is that it's the shape of the blood. It's the actual sickling of the cell. When the cell sickles, there's a group. There's a group of um, agents within a blood cell called hemes. And these hemes actually hold the iron that's, uh, that the body, uh, uh, how can I say it? It holds the iron and the oxygen that the body gets from the lungs and from the blood. And when you don't have these hemes within the blood cell, a typical like one blood cell like this, when these hemes are missing, the cell sickles and it comes out really in a, in a really sharp or jagged shape that causes a lot of, um, how can I say it? Um, just jammed, jammed cells within arteries and things of that nature because the blood does not flow due to its irregular shape. But those hemes that actually carry the oxygen uh, and bind to the iron within the blood is what actually helps us with our iron intake. So if you do not have these hemes, it does not matter how much iron you actually ingest, your body does not produce the blood cells needed 
in order to carry all of that iron that you're putting into your system. And then it results in people being sick because you're, you're, you're overloading yourself in a sense to where the body is not even benefiting from it because the body cannot pick up the iron. It cannot pick up the oxygen that binds to the iron in order to regulate those levels, if that makes any sense.